Good morning, beloved. I want to encourage you today to make God a part of your everyday life. He wants to help you, not just in the big things. He wants to help you when you're cooking dinner, driving in the traffic, doing your schoolwork, in everything you do. But God will only be involved in as much of your life as you allow him to be. A lot of Christians have God in a Sunday morning box. That's when people go to church. That's when they pray and think about God. Then they go out during the week and they don't really include God in their lives. They love God and reverence him, but they think there's nothing spiritual about going to the grocery store, cooking dinner, or driving the car. When you keep God in this box, you'll miss the blessings and favor he wants to give you. Proverbs 3, 6 says, Acknowledge God in all of your ways, not just some of your ways or just in the big things. If you'll start acknowledging God in all you do, he will crown your efforts with success. One way to acknowledge God is simply ask for his help. On your way to the store, under your breath, say, Father, help me find what I'm looking for. Help this to be a productive trip. That is acknowledging God. You're saying in effect, Father, I need you. I want you in every part of my life. That simple acknowledgement allows the Lord to direct your steps. When you acknowledge God, He breathes His favor on your life. You'll come into an anointing of ease. What should have been a struggle will not be a struggle. That is God crowning your efforts with success. When God sees your dependency on Him like that, relying on Him in your everyday life, that is what will cause Him to make your life easier. If you'll acknowledge God in all you do, He will go before you and make the crooked places straight. This is what Isaiah 45 2 says, I will go before you and level the mountains to make the crooked places straight. He will direct and make straight and plain your paths. He will open doors for you that you could not open. He will crown your efforts with success. Proverbs 3, 6 from the living says, in everything you do, acknowledge God. This should be a lifestyle where it is so ingrained in us, it's automatic. From the time you wake up in the morning until the time you go to bed at night, acknowledge God, thank him, tell him how much you love him. Thank him for his favor and that he causes you to excel in what he has called you to do. Thank him for his goodness, meditate upon his promises, ask for his help. Jesus put it this way in John 15, 5b, without me or apart from me, you can do nothing. So without inviting him into every area of your life, your day will not be what it could have been. <clears throat> Let's acknowledge God in everything we do. It's a sign of humility. God will move heaven and earth to get you to where you're supposed to be. Father, I thank you that because we depend on you today, you will bless us and increase us. You will cause us to bear much fruit. You will make us more productive. We will get more done in less time. You will make our lives easier. You will take us where we could not go on our own. Thank you for making our lives greater than we could have ever dreamed of. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you and am praying for you today.